So in sweep number three, we're looking at what we call rainbow facts. Now you'll see Carlin in, the, in her video using this resource. It's a simple toy. We actually bought it from Kmart if you're interested. And we've added numbers there with a bit of Velcro so you can see the digits. Let me see if I can do this without dropping it. Okay, from zero up to 10. So the idea is that these are pairs of numbers which when you add them together make 10. And so it fits with the rainbow and there's nothing special about the rainbow. It's just that it shows these um, concentric curves between the first number and the second number. And uh, we can use that to talk about the different examples. So we're using a 10 frame again. Now this time we're only using one 10 frame because the rainbow facts all go up to 10. So we'll start with um, a number on here, say, uh, let's say four and we can talk about the number that goes with four to make 10. So we're not actually saying what is seven plus three, what's nine plus one and so on because the answer is always 10. We're going to say what is the pair of numbers including four in this instance that add up to 10. The students can see the remaining spaces or the complement to the number four. They can see what the other number will be even without adding counters. So, uh, it, it matches the 10 frame really, really well. This, now I'll, just, now I'll just deal with the arrangement of the counters. There's two recommended ways to do this. Either a rows arrangement like this, where we go all the way along one row until it's full and then start the second row. And uh, the other is the pairs arrangement like that, where we start at one end and add one or two in pairs. So um, along the, the line like that. We can also do this vertically or horizontally. Um, in early years, that often that we often start with the 10 frame horizontally. Um, I don't have a particular preference. It doesn't really matter that much. When we do double 10 frames, then we stand them upright so that you've got a 10 on the left and a, you know, another group on the right. So there's a number of things you could talk about. Nice thing that you could mention here is that if this is an even number, the other number will be even. So four plus six, two plus eight, that sort of thing. Um, if this was odd, then the other number itself would have to be odd as well, three plus seven, that sort of thing. The other thing to say is that we use the 10 frame because it allows for subitization, the recognition of a number without counting so that students will be able to see that's three. They should be able to see that seven without counting the squares. It's important that they don't practice counting all the time, but they practice a higher level of thinking to recognize numbers, recognize relationships, how they fit together and so on. Looking at the toy resource again, you can see there's not that many pairs to do here and there's really no difficult ones. We've got zero plus 10, nine plus one, five plus five. There's hardly any that are difficult. And because they're all turnarounds of each other, there really are only six separate number facts to learn. So this shouldn't take students um, a great deal of effort to learn. It's a really useful set of number facts to learn. We use it in a lot of other applied maths, handling money, for example, and working out change, um, doing subtraction from a number of tens. There's a whole lot of applications. So very useful strategy, but really quite easy to do. So hope your students enjoy it. And we'll talk again in sweep number four.